Okay, let's talk about bearings. So bearings record uh, the direction of a line. So let's say we have a line. And if I'm standing at this point on the line and I'm looking in this direction, uh, the bearing angle is going to be from the north towards the east some number of degrees. So let's say it's 45 degrees. So in this case, the bearing for this line would be north 45 degrees east. Or if there's minutes and seconds, it would be north 45 degrees, some minutes, some seconds east. So in the northeast quadrant, we're always saying from the north towards the east some number of degrees. So in the southeast quadrant, let's say we have a 15 degree angle here. So bearings in the southeast quadrant are always recorded from the south towards the east. So in this case, the bearing of this line would be south 15 degrees towards the east. And again, maybe some minutes and seconds on there. So in the southwest quadrant, let's say we are over here, we are recording from the south towards the west some number of degrees. And let's say this is maybe 75 degrees. So the bearing of this line would be south towards the west, 75 degrees. And in the northwest quadrant, let's say we are out here again, let's say this is a 40 degree angle. The bearing for the northwest quadrant is always from the north towards the west, some number of degrees. So in this case, uh, our bearing would be north 40 degrees towards the west. So that's bearings. Again, always from the north or south towards the east or west. And the angle that we're looking for, that, that bearing angle, is the angle from the south to the other direction, or from north towards a different direction. So bearings can be listed as something northeast, southeast, southwest, or northwest. And the angle, the bearing angle, is always between 0 degrees and 90 degrees because we're always going from north to one of the other directions. So we can only go up to 90 degrees before we hit east. If we go past 90 degrees, then we're in the southeast quadrant, and we would be talking about that angle from the south towards the east. So that's how bearings work. Azimuths are a little different. So we had that line here, 45 degrees from the north. That was the first bearing line we looked at. And azimuths in the first quadrant, in the northeast quadrant, are going to be the same as the bearing. But azimuths are always reading clockwise from wherever you're starting your azimuth. And our azimuths are always going to start from the north and then go clockwise around the circle until we hit our line. So in this case, the bearing angle is the same as the azimuth angle in the northeast. So we're just talking 45 degrees, and there is no reference to the cardinal directions. So the, the azimuth is just 45 degrees for this line. We don't have to say north and east. Uh, in the southeast quadrant, we had a line down here. We had 15 degrees from the south towards the east. But if I want to talk about this as an azimuth, I have to start from the north and go clockwise around my circle until I hit that line. So I'm looking at this whole angle from the north to this line. That is my azimuth for this line. And down here in the southeast quadrant, uh, our, our azimuth angle, uh, if we already know our bearing, if I had to convert a bearing to an azimuth, for example, uh, I could take half of the circle, so 180 degrees, and subtract off this part. Um, that would be one way to do it, and in that case, we would have 165 degrees. So 180 minus this sliver at 15 
would bring us back to 165. Also, I know that if I were to go due east, that's 90 degrees. Due south is 180. Due west is 270. And then north, that's 360 or 0, right? Because we start from the north, so that's our 0 point. So if I'm thinking about it in, in terms of the cardinal directions, I know it's 90 degrees from north to east, and then it's 90 degrees from east to south. So if I know this is 90 degrees, and I know this is 15 degrees, I could subtract that off. Uh, 90 minus 15 would be one, uh, 75, and then I could add, so this would be 75, I could add that to the 90 here, again, to get 165 degrees. So in the southwest quadrant, uh, the bearing line we looked at was south 75 west, so this was 75 degrees. But the bearing for that, or I'm sorry, the azimuth for that line starts at the north and goes all the way around the circle until we hit that line. So again, we have 90 degrees. Here's 180 at the south. So I'm taking 180 plus another 75 uh, would give me 255. So 255 degrees would be the azimuth for that line. Uh, last quadrant, northwest quadrant, we had a line that was 40 degrees west of north. So here's 40 degrees, but as the azimuth has to be read from the north all the way around the circle until we hit that line. Again, going clockwise. So I've gone all the way around the circle except for 40 degrees. So I could say 360 minus that 40 degrees would bring me to a 320 degree azimuth for that line. So if I'm converting between bearings and azimuths, and I should say azimuths, azimuths can be anywhere from 0 degrees all the way to 360 degrees, because we can go all the way around the circle. So to convert between bearings and azimuths, <coughs> uh, there's a, a couple of simple formulas that we can think about. So in the northeast quadrant, so this, this quadrant here, the azimuth angle is equal to the bearing angle, and the bearing angle is equal to the azimuth angle. So the only difference there, the bearing is going to have that cardinal direction, so north something east. In the southeast quadrant, our azimuth angle is going to be 180 degrees minus the bearing angle. So 180 degrees is half of the circle, and then we'll subtract a little bit of uh, back, we'll subtract the bearing out going this way around the circle until we hit our line. So 180 degrees minus the bearing, and in the southeast quadrant, the bearing angle is equal to 180 degrees minus the azimuth angle. Again, uh, remember we are referencing south and east when we are talking about bearings. No reference to south and east when we talk about the azimuth. Uh, over here in the southwest quadrant, the azimuth is equal to 180 degrees plus the bearing And the bearing is going to be the azimuth minus 180 degrees. And in the northwest quadrant, the azimuth is 360 degrees minus the bearing. And the bearing. is 360 degrees minus the azimuth. 
So those formulas should help you convert back and forth between bearings and azimuths. Uh, remember, again, we're referencing the cardinal directions when we talk about bearings, uh, azimuths going all the way clockwise around the circle, uh, and do not reference those directions. So also think about what quadrant you're in. Uh, think that the north can be 0 or 360, east is 90 degrees, south is 180, west is 270. So if you look at an azimuth, uh, you should be able to tell right away which quadrant it is uh, just by, by knowing is it between 180 and 270, for example, then we know it's in the southwest quadrant. And the bearings, they will tell us what quadrant they're in because it will reference north something east or south something east, south something west, or north something west. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. We'll walk through a couple problems from the worksheets in the next video.